When Allah Azza wa Jal commands Ibrahim alayhi salam to slaughter his son, Ismail. And then picture yourself and put yourself in the place of Ibrahim. The attachment that Ibrahim had to Ismail is more than the average attachment from a father to a son. Why? Because Ibrahim waited for over 100 years until he had his first child. Ibrahim waited over 100 years until Allah gave him that first child. So his heart was a lot more attached to Ismail than the average heart of us that Allah Azza wa grants as a child just after marriage. But then, when that child grows, and then piety and righteousness appear on the face of Ismail, and then Ibrahim looks, to, he looks at his son Ismail, a very righteous, pious son, not like some of our children, menaces and devils, but Ibrahim sees his son, very righteous, very pious, a prophet to be. So not only that the heart of Ibrahim is attached to Ismail, but now when you have a righteous son with a bright future, your heart becomes a lot more attached to the son. So Ibrahim became so attached to Ismail. And Ibrahim sees Ismail growing with piety and righteousness and obedience to Allah and his parents. And that moment when Ibrahim becomes so attached to Ismail, so close to Ismail, so loving to Ismail, Allah commands Ibrahim to slaughter his son Ismail. Allahu Akbar. What a test. What a test. What's the test upon Ibrahim? Not to leave Ismail. After Allah tested him to take Ismail and his mother Hazar in the middle of a valley that now being lives there. But now the test that Ismail to be slaughtered by his father Ibrahim. Ya Bunaya, inni ara fil manami, anni adbahuk, fandur madha tara. O oh son, Allah commands me in my vision and dreams that I slaughter you. So what do you respond back to? Imagine you say that to your son. The police will be knocking on your door in less than a minute. Ya Bunay, inni ara fil manami, adbahuk, fandur madha tara. O oh my son, Allah commands me in the dream that I slaughter you. So what do you suggest to me? So what does this righteous, pious young man reply to his father? He says, Ya Abati, Ya Abati, Ya Abati, If'al ma tu'mar, Satajiduni insha'allahu min as-sabirin. Oh father, Oh father, Do what Allah had commanded you to do. Insha'Allah, by the will of Allah, you're going to find me from amongst those who are patient. Patient. Patient for the sake of Allah. If that's what Allah commands you, are dead, then even hesitate. Because Allah's commandment comes before loving your son. Allah's commandment comes before loving anyone. And now Ibrahim grabs his son Ismail, walking with him. Where? To some beautiful park or amusement entertaining park, walking with his son, knowing that his son, this could be the last time that he ever walks with his father. And then he lays him on that rock that he saw in his dreams, that he slaughtered his son Ismail to grab the knife and to come and slaughter his son Ismail. But by the will of Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal prevents the knife to slaughter Ismail. Then the call comes from Allah, from above the heavens, and Allah calls upon Ibrahim. This is the big test. Don't slaughter him anymore. Ya Allah, but you commanded me to slaughter him. Well, it's not about slaughtering his son or not. It's about what's in your heart. What's in your heart? 
So when Ibrahim came to slaughter Ismail, and that moment Ibrahim did everything he can to slaughter Ismail, Allah Azza wa Jal did not allow the slaughter of Ismail because slaughtering Ismail does not benefit Allah. But what Allah wanted to say is in the heart of Ibrahim, does Allah come before anyone, including his most beloved son Ismail? Sacrifice. It's not about what you sacrifice. It's not about what you give. It's about what's in the heart. About what's in the heart. Someone can sacrifice a million dollars. But that will mean nothing to Allah Azza wa Jal like someone who sacrificed ten dollars. Because the one that sacrificed a million dollars has another ten. But the one that sacrificed ten dollars probably has only a dollar. Sacrifice. 